everyone, Lillian here. Welcome back to another tutorial. We're going to start off with the Too Faced Hangover RX and I'm just going to apply it to my face sort of as a moisturizer. Then I'm going to move on right into the eyes and I'm going to put the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then the entire look was inspired by the B palette from BH Cosmetics in collaboration with Bubs Beauty. And I just went in with Optimistic and that's just to set the primer. Then I'm gonna go in with Confident and this is a halo effect so I'm just going to apply it to the outer and innermost edges of my eye and I'm just gonna make sure that I blend it in well. I'm bringing it up a little bit past my natural crease line. Then I'm gonna go in with Inspired and sort of where I went on the inner and outer edges, I'm gonna go back in with this brown color and I am just bringing it right below that purple. So I was going to try using this with the MAC Fix Plus and wetting my brush but I saw that it didn't work as well and I didn't like how it was applying so I just used my finger. Now moving on face, I'm going to put on the Milk Blur Stick Primer. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I'm in shade 106 which actually that's now my actual shade I did tan a little bit but I'm gonna go in and mix it with the NYX Total Control in shade 10 which is beige <laughs> concealer and I'm using the shade light it is a little too light on me now because now I'm a little bit darker so then I'm going to set the foundation and the concealer in with the air spot I use the rosy beige then I'm going to go into my Urban Decay and Jean Mitchell Best K blush palette and I'm gonna go in with Jawbone which is the contour shade and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. Then I'm gonna go in with Noho which is a more purple toned blush. Then I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. <laughs> Benefit Cabral. I'm using the cream gel in number three, which is a little bit lighter than my, quite lighter actually, than my actual hair color. But because I do have that blonde in my hair that's supposed to be blonde, but in this video it doesn't look blonde, it kind of goes with it and doesn't look that off. Then I'm just going to really brush out the innermost part of the brow just to kind of have it be a little bit more subtle. And then I'm going to go in with the high brow, also by Benefit. I love this and I'm just going to blend it out to clean up the brows. <laughs> contour shade to my neck, my double chins. Time to curl the lashes but I did forget to apply shadow below on my lower lid so I'm just gonna go in with the same three colors that I used to do the outside of the halo and I'm just going to apply them in the same order to the bottom lash line. I'm just going in about two-thirds of the way. I'm not closing off my eye completely. For mascara I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Miss Manga Voluminous. <laughs> Now I'm 
now to finish up, I'm going to go over to the lips and I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics lipstick and the shade is in BAM. Then I missed a step so I just went straight to misting my entire face but I forgot that I had used ColourPop Contempo over the BH Cosmetics BAM and so I just went in and applied some and I also forgot to highlight my inner corner so with, just with the same highlight that I used for my face I just went in and did it with my finger and that's it. I hope you enjoyed. It did come out a little bit differently than what I had posted. The lips are a whole lot more purple but I don't know. I liked it. It was nice. I hope you have a good one. Bye!